When I was 16, I used to listen to music on a cassette tape. Sometimes it would get caught in the cogs. You would have to wind it back with a pencil. Then we used to record rap songs on tapes using headphones. You plug the headphone into the mic input and record it on tape. There was no Spotify, no iTunes, there weren't Apple phones. The phones we had were like bricks. With only one game, still the best, Snake. If you wanted to see a Batman, you'd go and see him. There wasn't unlimited streams on the internet, well, because we didn't have the internet properly. We'd watch gigs, or buy the CDs or tapes from Woolworths or HMV. Or the guy that did knock-off DVDs. Geez, everything's so easy these days. I went to see my mate Dean, and I heard a track playing. I'd never heard anything like it. He said it was from a band called Trans Element. I remember it being structured weird, as if it was continuously building. It sparked off loads of emotions. It was a live album. I assumed that this was some massive London based band, but Dean told me that they were from Nelson. There was no Google in it, because no one used computers. Your phone didn't have the option to access the internet, they still had black and white screens. After asking about, I found that Transelement had split. The singer had started a new band called Say Jansfield. This band sparked the same kind of emotions, similar sounding except they played on acoustic instruments. I didn't get a chance to see the three piece, but I got a chance to see the five piece band, which we call Say. I always liked the way that Jay Stansfield, the singer, would write songs and inspired me massively, especially with the more math rocky aspects. He was one of my main reasons of getting into math rock. His work rate is immense, he never seems to stop working. Now running a songwriting company, having solo projects, and in a band called All Hail Hyena. I decided to contact Jay and asked if he'd like to chat about music. He agreed, I was over the moon. Contacted an old friend Matt Heap from Suff Studio and asked if we could use his amazing space. So I set off to see a truly inspiring gentleman, Mr Jay Stansfield. <laughs>